Okay, so we're going to do our fit for all warm up today. We're going to do a dynamic warm up and get our bodies moving a little bit before we start our workout. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is jumping jacks and we're going to do 15 reps. So remember, we're here, we're coming out, and we're back in. All right, so we're going to go ahead and start. Here we go. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15. Okay? Awesome. Next thing we are going to do is Frankenstein. So we're going to try and stretch out our legs a little bit here. So we, some of you may call them high kicks. We call them Frankensteins around here. So all we're doing is 10 each side and you're kicking up and just getting those feet up. Okay? Just getting those legs up. Alright? Here we go. 10 each side. Ready? One. One. Two. Two. Oh, sorry. Three. Three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine. Last one's ten and ten. Awesome. So now we're going to go back to our upper body. We're going to get moving with our arms again. So we're going to do some arm circles. So remember, we're going to do forwards first, and then we're going to go backwards. All right, so you're just making sure your arms are straight out and they're moving in a good solid motion here. All right, so starting, we're gonna go 15, okay? Here we go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. We're gonna stop, we're gonna go backwards now, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. All right. Last thing we're going to do is march in place. So we're just going to get our knees up, try and get them high, stretching out our legs a little bit, get our air flowing here, and we're going to do for about fifteen seconds here. Okay. So here we go. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. All right, awesome. That's it for our dynamic warm-up. Let's stop it. Okay, so the next thing we're going to be doing, our first exercise of the day, is going to be body weight squats. All right? So just our normal squat. We're going to not use a whole lot of range of motion here, but we're going to go ahead and do it. And I'm going to show each level here okay so if you can't do this one that's okay we're going to show you something that's a little bit easier to do uh, if it's too easy for you we're going to even show you something that's a little bit harder but first we're going to kind of show you how to do this body weight squat so what we're going to do is you're going to be here standing up straight we're going to go ahead and bend back bend those knees down keep those hands out keep those that back kind of straight we want to make sure we're coming up okay so you're pushing down and then back up again we're gonna do about 15 of those, all right? Now, if that, if that is not possible for you, if you want it a little bit easier, you can go ahead and use any chair in your house, any uh, ledge, sort of as we have here with our stage from our Fit For All room that you guys all get to use all the time. So what we're doing here is we're going ahead and we're just sitting back. And you're gonna go ahead and sit back, touch the chair, touch the stage, making sure our back is still flat, our chest is up, our head is up, and our hands are out, and we're sitting up. Okay, so again, 15 of those if you can, all right? And then if that, if either of those are too easy for you, we're gonna go ahead and pick up our range of motion a little bit. So we're gonna extend our range of motion and we're gonna go ahead a little bit further down. So you wanna get low, hold for two seconds, one Mississippi, two Mississippi, and then you're coming up, okay? So there's the different ways to make it easier and harder and we will show each of those here in the next progression.
Okay, so the next exercise we're going to be doing is a straight arm incline plank. So now we're going to use three different variations here, okay? So we're going to make one for the easy, for people who need a little bit of an easier tactic here, one for what we want you to do, and then one for the harder, if you want to make it a little bit harder on yourself, okay? So the first one we're going to work on, I'm going to show you what we, the main exercise that we're trying to do. So we're aiming to be able to do this, if you can go further, that's okay. If you can't do as much, that's all right as well. So what we're going to be doing is called a straight arm incline plank. All we're going to be doing is using anything like a chair, a table, anything that's stable, it's not going to move on you. And we're going to go ahead and extend our arms out, shoulder length, shoulder width apart, excuse me. And all we're going to be doing is keeping them straight and making sure our legs are out and we're holding it for 30 seconds, okay? If that is a little too hard for you, what we're going to have you do is go ahead and pick any wall in your room, in your, anywhere in your house, okay? And all you're going to do is hands against the wall, back your feet out just enough, and you're just going to lean and hold for 30 seconds, making sure that we're putting all our weight on these arms, okay? We're just making sure we're working our shoulders, making sure we're working and pushing against those arms. If either of those are too easy for you, our other option is going to be on the floor, okay? So we're going to go ahead, same thing, in push-up position, basically making sure our back's flat, making sure that butt's down, and we're going to hold it for 30 seconds, putting all the pressure on those arms and those legs, okay? exercise we're going to be doing, we're going to be working on our legs a little bit, getting some lunge type exercises in here. Alright, so we're going to be working on step ups, and this is something you guys may have worked on while being in our Fit for All classes before, but we're going to give you three different options again. So we're going to give you an easy option, a normal option, and then a little bit of a harder option. And it's totally okay, whatever you can do, you can do. So let's go ahead and we're going to show you each one. So, our middle option, our normal option, what we're aiming for you to do is an alternating step up. So we're going to work on 10 on each side. So all we're doing is we're going up, here, down, and down, okay? So we're making sure we're getting a lot of movement there, we're pushing up with our legs, getting a lot of motion there. Now you can use a stair, a book, anything that will work for you, even a curb outside can work for you as long as you have something to step up on and get moving, okay? Now if that's too hard, we can't really you know, work on the motion of getting all the way over, using both legs to get over, that's okay. So what we're gonna do instead is we're gonna just do regular step ups, okay? So we're gonna go ahead, put one leg up, get up, and come back down, okay? So we're just making sure we're pushing with one leg at a time. We're going up, push, back down, all right? We're gonna work 10 on each side as well for that one as you'll see in the videos. Um, and if either of those are too easy for you, what we're gonna do is we're gonna work on a lunge. So you need no stairs, no elevation at all for this. All you're gonna do is go ahead and step out, lean out, and we're really stretching this leg here, putting this knee, making sure it's bent, and we're getting out, and we're coming back in. It's 10 on each side for that, so you'll go all the way up to 10 doing that, and then we'll try the other way as well, okay?
add some weight, but we're also going to get our legs moving as well. All right. So our loaded carry, we're going to have a weight. It doesn't have to be super heavy. It can be a bigger book. It can be a water jug, a milk jug, anything of the sort. Okay. So all we're doing is we're holding it right about in our stomach. Granted, what I have has a nice handle on it, but you can hold it like this. It doesn't matter as long as you have it. And then we're walking with it, getting our knees up decently high, just getting going and moving our legs. Okay, it's gonna be 10 steps there. We're gonna turn around and do 10 steps on the way back. All right? If the weight is too much, that's okay. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put it down. And we're gonna do it just in place here. And what we're gonna do is called lemon squeezers, all right? So we're gonna go elbow to knee. All right, elbow to knee. So make sure we're going opposites. Left arm to your right leg, right arm to your left leg, okay? So 10 of each of those. So we do one, two, three, and so on. One, two, three, and so on, okay? Getting those lemon squeezers in, making sure we're taking our time to come back and in, all right? If the loaded carry is a little too easy for you, you want to do it, make it a little bit harder for yourself, what we're going to go ahead and do is take that weight that you have, put it over your head, okay? Then we're just making sure we're getting those knees up, getting 10 all the way down. Turn it around, 10 all the way down, okay? jug, water jug, anything of the sort, okay? So the best thing about deadlifts is gonna be our form. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn you sideways here, all right? So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna keep it down and just near our waist, making sure our arms are extended just down, all right? We're gonna put our left feet shoulder width apart and all we're doing is we're going down with a little bit of bend in your knees, coming right back up. Now when we're going down, we're making sure that back is straight and the head is up, okay? Down and back up. Awesome. We're going to do 15 of those, all right? Now, if that's a little too hard, what we're going to do is we're just going to have that same motion instead without the weight, okay? So we're going to be doing down. And to make it a little bit harder on ourselves, we're going to go up, up on our tippy toes, making sure we're extending our arms upwards, okay? So again, down and up. Now, when we're going down, again, make sure your knees are bent just a little bit, but not a whole lot, all right? So we're gonna go ahead and I'll show you from the side. So it's here and up. 15 of those as well, okay? Now if either one of those were too easy, we're gonna go ahead and move you to a swing as well, all right? So again, weight down, shoulder width apart with our feet. We're gonna go down with our knees just a little bit back, coming up and we're gonna swing. All right, bring it back down and swing it right back into it. All right, 15 of those and that'll be it. just where we had it last for our deadlifts. You're gonna pull it up and back down, okay? Up 
and back down. All right, to make it easier, again, no weight. Here we are, shoulders coming up, and back down, up, and back down. To make it a little bit harder, we're gonna add a hold in, and we're gonna come up, and we're gonna hold for one, two, three, and then back down, all right? Okay, so the next exercise we're going to be doing is called a Russian twist, alright? So, we're going to be making sure we're getting some of this core working here, making sure we're keeping this tight, getting those obliques working, okay? So the first part of this exercise, what we're actually going to have you do is actually going to have no weight, which is awesome. Now, to make it a little bit easier, we're actually going to add some weight, but it's going to be in a different position. And to make it a little bit harder, it's going to be in the same normal position, but adding weight, alright? So the first one, and the one that we want most of you to do is called just the normal Russian twist. So you can do this on the ground. I'm going ahead and doing it on the stage just to make it a little bit easier for you to see. So all we're doing is we're up. You can lean back kind of as if you were sitting on the ground tanning out in the sun, right? So you get your legs up, your knees are bent, and then all you're gonna be doing is sitting up, and you're gonna be going from side to side, just touching with your hand. So imagine you're holding something small and you're touching it to the ground, okay? So you do 20 all together there, all right? Now, if that's a little too hard for you, that's okay. So we're gonna get you in a different position here. We're gonna get you sitting down, and we're gonna add a little bit of weight, but just to make it just hard enough so that you're getting a workout, but easy enough that it's not making you struggle. So what we're gonna do is take our weight, and just like we were doing with the other one, we're gonna go ahead and touch and touch. So now you can do this with three chairs, you can do it with a bench, anywhere is possible, okay? Even if you're on a stair, just go ahead and sit up. You're sitting up straight, keeping that back tight, keeping that core tight, and we're gonna be pushing and just touching and touching with the weight. So just, again, this is what it looks like, our sitting twist. So it's here and here. So that's, that's the easier exercise. Now, if that's all too easy for you, we're gonna go ahead and go back into our Russian twist position. So this is gonna be our hardest version. And all you're gonna be doing is going down with the weight, over and side, okay? So that's just adding a little bit of weight to the original Russian twist. static cool down you guys have done an awesome job with your exercises today so we're just gonna make sure we're stretching those muscles making sure we're getting all that lactic acid out making sure we're not as sore stretched out not as tight okay so the first thing we're gonna do is our arm across our body now we're gonna do each side so don't worry so the first one we're gonna go ahead and count to 15 all right so we're gonna go one Mississippi two Mississippi three Mississippi four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen all right switching over to the other side one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen Okay, and we're gonna continue on now. We're gonna stretch our arms again, kind of getting our shoulders. So we're just making sure you're gonna take the bottom of your elbow here, put it behind your head and push back, okay? We're gonna start again for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Switch to the other arm again behind the elbow. One, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. All right, awesome job. So we've stretched out our upper body. Now we're going to go ahead. We're actually going to use a chair, anything you can grab real quick. All right, and we're going to go ahead and sit down. This is okay to do on the ground as well. And all you're going to be able to do is take that knee and you're just pulling it back to your chest. We're using the chair just for a little bit more stability, okay? So go ahead and we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Switching legs, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. All right, awesome, we're still doing great here. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna Move over to flamingos. You can find a wall, anything you can hold on to. Even the back of a chair is fine, a table is fine. Anything that can give you a little bit of support, okay? So we're gonna do our left leg first. We're gonna pull it up and just get it back and we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, now we're gonna switch over to the next one. And you can go ahead and just lean against the wall again. We're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Awesome, awesome, now we're moving along, okay. The next thing we are doing is is our butterfly holds, okay? So this is gonna be our last stretch for the entirety of this, all right? So we're gonna go ahead, get down on the ground, and I'll do it down on the ground just to kind of help you guys. And all we're doing is making sure those feet are together, those knees are spread out as far as you can get them. And we're gonna hold onto our feet and lean forward just a little bit, okay? And we're gonna hold this for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. All right, and that's gonna finish our static cool down, all right? Thank you for coming.